in San Diego. HQ Scott Rogowski. It is Wednesday, my doys and doydettes, my dudes and goods with attitudes. The final Wednesday of January in the year of your Lord 2019. Time's fun when you're having flies, and we have fun every night here on HQ. But tonight, I'm going to go out on a limb and say we're going to have even more fun than usual. Hope you brought your passport, because you're coming with me on a trip around the world. We're changing your whole latitude with a visual twist tonight on HQ, the live mobile game show where we answer questions to win cash and points. This is your captain speaking, Carmen Santa Barbara, Scotter the Gulb Trotter Rogowski, chilling like Magellan on this Bell Let's Talk Day, live from these HQ United States. With Sherma Charles and Johnny's wife Casey celebrating birthdays. Hello. Hope it's warm wherever you are tonight. And hope you managed to avoid the hashtag snow squall. That was scary. We've got a full itinerary across our 12 questions tonight. Many different ports of call. Various climates. Hope you packed your dashikis, your kafias, and your speedos. Like last week's music video quiz, I'm going to ask you the question. You're going to see a video clip and then you'll see the answers pop up. you got to tap the right one so you can move on to the next. Get it wrong, and I'm hitting the eject button on you. Unless you have an extra life, mm-hmm, which you can get by playing five days in a row or referring your friends, or you can go ahead and get one right now or any point during the quiz. In addition to extra lives, you have those free passes that can help you coach through those early questions. We are in week two of season two. The points are back in a big way. Those points equal levels, levels, get you the free passes. You know how this all works, right? What level are you on right now? Let me know. Five? Anyone at level six yet? You get those points by earning, by answering questions correctly. You can share your results on social and from winning the game. Yes, the prize tonight is 10 million points. 10 million points. Those points and levels are going to come in real handy for our big money prize games this season. We're giving out more money this season than ever before it all boils down to our season finale jackpot that grows with every point you earn. Let's check in on that right now. That finale show is now $41,295. The more you play, the more we pay. That's how that works. Hike up your smarty pants, kids. Strap on your thinking caps and lace up your hiking boots because we're hitting the hinterlands. Crisscrossing God's green earth. Going around the world, around the world. Let's get down. To the nitty gritty, we got over 350,000 HQDs in this to win this. Remember, it's the video clip, then the answers, okay? Let's get this show on the road to Rio. Cumero, numero uno. What movie was filmed and set in this city? Now, this is one of Martin Scorsese's lesser films, a 1977 musical tribute to the director's hometown, starring Liza Minnelli and Bobby De Niro, friend of the show, co-host. Even if you haven't seen the film, that clip should have given it away. It's the city so nice they named it. New York, New York. 292,651 are going to be spreading the news to Q2. 21,000 thought that was Chicago? Really, with the Empire State Building, the Flatiron, and L.A.? Come on, guys. Maybe you got a free level, a level pass to get you to Q2. In what European city was this footage taken? We're called Gondolieri, but that's a vagary. It's quite honorary, the trade that we fly. Venice, Toronto, or Reykjavik, what do you think? What do you say? Good luck booking a gondola through the canals of Toronto and Reykjavik. But this is what your commute looks like if you live in Venice. That's Venice, guys, the canals. 315,758. Feeling great after that one. How do you make a Venetian blind? Hey, it's Q3 time. This landmark, this landmark you're about to see is known as both Uluru and what? Now that's Uluru and is it K2, the Grand Canyon or Ayers Rock? What do you say? What do you say, huh? The Australian Aborigines who live nearby 
this large sandstone formation, called it Uluru, meaning Island Mountain, long before a white man renamed it Ayers Rock, in honor of another white man. Ayers Rock is your answer. 253,635 are heading down under to Q4. I'm literally going there next week. Yeah, I'm going to be in Australia next week. Big news, folks. One week from tonight, we're doing something soup spesh. Get ready to rethink everything you thought you knew about animation. We are making Quiztory on Wednesday, February 6th. It's a special HQ event live from Oz in celebration of Lego Movie 2. I'm going where no host has gone before to present HQ in a way that's never been done. We're putting $25,000 up for grabs, plus a handful of lucky players will win a rare limited edition collectible capsule. It all goes down next Wednesday at 9 p.m. It's going down, down under. Trust me, Sparkle Babies, you're not gonna wanna miss that show. Yeah, 75K, we told you, the big money's coming. The points, to the levels, to the 75,000, that's what it's all about. And there's more where that's coming. Q4, this waterfall, the world's largest sheet of falling water lies on the border between which two countries? Where are you gonna find that? Would that be between Canada and the US, Denmark and Norway, or Zambia and Zimbabwe? Waterfalls, they make, they make great international borders. Two countries can enjoy them, and all these borders have waterfalls, but the largest, well, except for that Denmark, Norway, we threw that in there. They're not even, they're not even bordering countries. So that should have been easy for you. But the largest combined height plus width goes to Victoria Falls in Southern Africa. That's Zambia and Zimbabwe, right, right there. That's the answer there. No, that was not Niagara Falls. And again, Denmark, Norway do not border each other. 148,000 got that one right. Fallen down to Q5. As seen in an Indiana Jones movie, where is this landmark located? Mm, is that in Tunisia, Egypt, or Jordan? Where are you gonna find that? Beautiful. Another sandstone carving. We all love Indy in the Last Crusade. After all, it ends with deadly Bible trivia. But there's no canyon of the crescent moon leading to the Holy Grail, IRL. That magnificent facade you just saw was filmed on location in Petra, Jordan. It's the al Qazne, the treasury. And 134,105 of you looking for some treasures in tonight's quiz. There's, there it is, there's Jordan right there. Yeah, one, 10 million points is your treasure tonight. You're about halfway there, Q6. What are these sculptures called? by those who live near them. Is it a totem, moai, or tiki? Totem, moai, or tiki? What are they called by the people who live there? And where is there? Well, I'll tell you. Totem is a broad word usually covering North American beliefs. Tiki is a Polynesian word which gets us closer geographically to where we want to be, those big head tods. But these are specific to Rapa Nui, aka Easter Island, where they're called Moai. Moai, your answer at Q6, 147,178 of you have cracked that Easter Island egg. Approximately right there in the middle of nowhere. Hey, uh, tomorrow we're staying a little closer to home. Yeah, we're stopping by Luke's Diner in Stars Hollow. Connecticut for a hot cup of Gilmore Girls trivia. That's right, 9p tomorrow. All you gotta do to play is say the secret password. And I'm in a paradise. Yeah, you knew that. Q7, linguists can guess from this creature's name that it is found where? Sri Lanka. Oh. <laughs> I forgot the clips, the, the, the clip thing. Is that Sri Lanka, Mexico, or Ukraine? Where are you gonna find that little guy? That lizard looking fish stick. It's actually a critically endangered species of salamander called the axolotl, spelled A-X-O-L-O-T-L. Hmm? It's a distinctive spelling courtesy of the Aztec language of family, Aztec language family? Let's say that. Which can only mean, vive en Mexico. Oh, Mexico. 
It sounds so simple, I just got to go. 63,424 booking passage to Q8. You knew the axolotl. Do you know this language-related question? What language is spoken in the communities near this massive radio telescope? Ooh, scope out that scope. Is it French, German, or Spanish? Looking for the language spoken by the people who live near that landmark. You know, in 1974, an interstellar radio message was beamed to presumed extraterrestrials from that observatory. We're still waiting for a text back, aliens. What's up? For over 50 years, this was the largest radio telescope in the world, and it remains a source of local pride for the folks of Arecibo, Puerto Rico, where they habla espanol. 47,756 of you getting this one right. You know you got a SIBO? Do you know Q9? This animal breed was named for the capital of what nation? <laughs> Is it Bulgaria, Turkey, or Morocco? Do you know that animal breed? It was a goat. It's a type of goat. This is the goat of HQ questions here. Breeds of cats and rabbits also share the Angora designation with those Angora goats. Ever hear of mohair? Well, it comes from the hair of those guys, which historically came from the region no, that we now call Ankara, the capital of Turkey. Yeah, Ankara, Angora, Istanbul was Constantinople, Ankara was Angora. 16,186. Getting this one right, the rest of you sheared off this quiz, just like that mohair. Brutal Q9. Q10 could be even harder. Footage of this place briefly appeared in the opening ceremony to which Summer Olympics? Do you recognize those things there? Was it the 2008 Olympics, 2012, or 2016 Olympics? Where would you find that footage in an opening ceremony? It looks like God was working with vertical Lincoln logs at this UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland, a filming location for Game of Thrones, and where a children's choir sang Danny Boy in the opening ceremony video for the 30th Olympiad in London 2012. Oh yes, way more fun than Coney 2012. 14,946 of you, London is calling Q11. The rest of you, I guess London Bridge fell down. Anya, ooh. Q11, the penultimate question. Where are we going now? Where are we going now? This time-lapse footage of the sun was taken close to where? Black hole sun. Won't you come? Is that the North Pole, South Pole, or the Equator? Ha ha ha. If the sun is moving sideways and you think you're at the equator, you need a new compass and a new thermometer. Both poles, north and south, get weeks of sunlight at a time, but if that sun's moving left to right, as it did there in the clip, you're in Santa Land, baby. The North Pole and 10,117 following the North Star, Polaris. All the way around the world, you've come so far, can you cross the finish line? It's Q12 time for the 10,117 of you playing for 10 million points. Who got points in the coop? Busting out the roof. Q12, this animal, shown in its defensive posture, climbing around, is found on what two continents? All right, so it's not so defensive. He's just having fun. He's at Coachella. Is it Africa and Asia, North America and South America, or Australia and Europe? Where are you gonna find that guy? You know, people from the Americas are familiar with nature's tank, the armadillo, especially if you live in Amarillo, Texas. But what you saw there, is actually a scaly anteater, or a pangolin. Mm -hmm. Another critically endangered species, like our axolotl friend. But this one is found in the southern parts of Africa and Asia. 
Africa, Asia, where you find the pangolin, and we're finding 7,870 of you who went around the world in HQ trivia tonight. You're our big winners, baby! Million points split 7,870 ways. That's 1,271 going to Hangry VR, Mariah, something, Megan, something, Connie Boy, Dizzy Biz, Noah Felson. You went around the galaxy tonight, my friend. I guess, I guess you, it makes sense you knew this one. You know your geography. Ghostlandia and the Ryan Kelly. So many more of you. I can't shout you all at individual. But look, scroll through, swipe through, and see all the winners tonight. Those points on top of the points you already earn from answering questions means Mo points on Mo points. Levels, levels, levels. Those points are gonna help you level up so you can win the big bucks. We've got lots of surprises in the store this season. Remember, we're giving away more money than we did last season, so keep your phones close. Don't forget that special event next Wednesday, February 6th. Yeah, I mentioned it earlier, $75,000. I'm going to be in Australia. It's the Lego 2 movie. I'm doing this thing like you've never seen me before. It's going to be special, folks. That's February 6th, 75,000 and limited edition collectible capsules. We got a big money show this Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. More money coming at you. So keep those in your eye, Cal. And tomorrow night, Gilmore Girls. Mm-hmm. Brush up on your hip alien lyrics. You don't want to get beaked by a swan until I see you again. I shall remain Scott Rogaski signing off saying, Tumblers better than pumpers. I see tumblers. Look at those tumblers. Ain't those tumblers cute? Good night. <laughs>